JD 5-2 win on the road against Yorkshire Amateur this afternoon. Uh, a big, big win in context of the race for the playoffs. Uh, mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on the performance? <coughs> um, superb performance. Totally different type of game to when we played them previously. Conditions massively dictated that with the wind and the and the, uh, the rain and the wet pitch. The pitch has got worse and worse. However, the football played by us in the first half and them at times today was was uh, really impressive considering the surface. Um, but we overcome all the challenges today presented to us and um, five good goals. And given the difficult circumstances, did you expect the seven goal game? Or no, we would shook. I was thinking we well, yeah, I didn't think we'd be that we'd be scoring as many as that. I didn't think anybody would really. So a, a two nil or a one nil would be fine. But uh, some some really really good bits of football and uh, some fantastic goals really. Steely with two in the first half that will do his confidence a world of good. We go into half time at three one. Uh, could have made a four one with uh, Liam Cook in that mm -hmm. chance. Mm -hmm. But they've made a three two. Was there a little bit of nerves or did you just have faith the lads would just see up that little bit of? Yeah, no, sure a little bit because we've at times at the start of the season we might not have responded the way that we did. But the the confidence in the collective that we have at the moment. I mean that's ten league wins in a row now, um, and that breeds a feeling of of not just of success, but a real confidence where you have the belief that. Yeah, you know, I looked across the back four, and I was saying to Michael, I said, look at them, and the look on. There's no way that we're losing that game today. I mean, not knowing what the score is going to be, they, was, they, they were so determined not to lose that game. Uh, and yep, they scored. I mean, one of the, the first goal, obviously, a mistake by Callum. But the, this, the second one that comes straight through the middle, and they're, they're a good team. They're the best team we played the first half of the season. So to go and score five against them, I know they've, they've got a few players out and stuff like that. But you still have to overcome that. And obviously we bounce back <coughs> from um, then pulling the ball back to make it five two. Mikey Roberts yeah. hat trick. <laughs> yeah. I mean the boys. Have, I mean Steely's been due a goal, and, and as you say, it'll do his confidence a world of good. So for him to get two is excellent. Um, but Mikey gets what he, he deserves. He deserves a hat trick because of how he works. That third, uh, sorry, second goal, the timing of it, the great ball in from Lewis, timing of it, and his little volley or half volley at the back post, you couldn't quite tell, directed it so well. Uh, outstanding finish. 12 games to go, and obviously we continue to take it one game at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Pontefract Colliery's away next Saturday. It, it, the aim is like in any game, as the lads have pointed out all season, that they won three points from yep. every game. Well, that, I mean, as we said, and we keep saying, we keep this role going. If, if we can go and get another three points in our next game, which we we are determined to do, it's not it's not if or maybe it's let's go and win the game. We're confident and we and we want that to happen, so we're going to go there and try and win that game.